Hey, I'm Jenny with Sharp. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the paper tray settings and some bypass usage. First off, when we go into copy and we go into our paper select, it actually shows you on the screen what each drawer is using. Right now, we all have plain. But say that I wanna put maybe letterhead in a drawer or colored paper or cardstock in a drawer. So the way you can do that to change that paper type, because it does a few things and I'll explain. When you go to, you just highlight that drawer. To the right, it says change current type and size of that selected tray. At this point, I'm gonna tell, what am I gonna put in there? Hey, I wanna put in letterhead. So I can tell, why do I do that? One, if I'm running something that is letter and that letter drawer runs out, the plain paper drawer runs out, it will not roll over to the letterhead drawer. If the letterhead drawer runs out, it will not roll over to the plain paper. That way, you can keep each drawer, even though they're the same size, the copier knows they're not the same paper. You also can do cardstock. We have heavy one, heavy two, heavy three, and heavy four. On your paper, there's actually a GSM number that'll represent what weight that paper is. It'll actually have it right on the paper. The reason each weight goes up, heavy one, heavy two, is it gets hotter. Because what happens if you don't use that, you'll get smearing. It'll also open up the rollers to accommodate that thicker. So I could say, hey, in drawer two, I'm going to put heavy paper. And so it'll actually mark it on here. The nice part about it is when you touch a drawer and you change current type, it will let you know if that drawer can handle what. So you don't have to guess, oh, this drawer can't do that or this drawer can't do that. As long as you see these options, you can choose from there. So setting up the drawers are pretty easy. You also have a bypass. So the bypass, you open it right on the side. When you put your paper in, it automatically gives you a pop-up. Now, this is important because if you have codes, you wanna make sure you log in first, then you'll see your pop-up, all right? And what the pop-up's asking is, hey, what are you putting in here? Well, at this time, it is eight and a half by 11, but it's not plain paper. Maybe I'm putting a little thicker paper in, or maybe I'm putting labels in. So I can actually now have it labels. So it's as easy as just put the paper in, you get a pop-up, or go to your paper select and choose your drawers and choose your options to the right. This way, the pe the that particular drawer knows the heat and how to handle that paper, but also knows that it's not like a plain paper, so it won't roll over.